Hello and welcome, this is Alistair Christie, back again showing off another property of the Delphi VCL. This time we're going to take a look at auto size. Prerequisites, if you don't already have Delphi, download the free Explorer edition from turboexplorer.com. Ok, on with the show. Here we have our new VCL forms application, and I'm just going to add a list box, and a button. And on on the form, I'm going to set its auto size property to true. And what this basically means is that the form will get resized to fit all the controls. If I run that, it's not resizable. I can't um, resize it. Okay, next, change the caption to more. And if I add a panel, and in the button click, I'm just going to toggle the visibility property and turn it on and off. So now when I run it, I can show and hide the panel. In fact, I've got that run the wrong way. Really, I want it to be... Visi uh, visibility off to be by default. Otherwise, I would have called this less. Anyway, uh, we can, of course, do much more than this. Um, I'm going to add a couple of buttons. Try and get them where I want them. That'll do. And call this one less. This one more. And I also want a memo. And set the width of the memo to 100 and set the auto size property of the form to true. Now, on the on enter event, I'm going to make the memo wider. Um, 300. And on exit, set it back to 100. Okay, now in the, I'm going to use these less and more buttons to make the memo um, bigger and smaller, or higher and shorter. So in the less, the maximum of 50 and minus 50 50 and min now uh, for the min and max functions to work we need to include or use the math unit. So here we're just limiting the the height um, to being at least 50 and at most 500. Uh, and if I now run this, we can go more, we can go into the memo, it makes it nice and big. We can click the more button, yep, and it's as big as it goes. And it's as small as it goes. Now, instead of using this code, I just wanted to show you because it it's quite clever. And gets rid of all sorts of if statements and what have you. Um, we can also just use this, um, but at the moment it'll just get bigger and smaller uh, without restriction. Um, but we can use the constraints property. If 
I can find it. There we go. And set the minimum to be 50 and the maximum to be, let's make it 300. And that works just the same. Well, that's all I wanted to show you for the auto size property. Um, thanks for watching. The auto size property can be really handy, especially for forms you don't want to be resized at runtime. This behavior is the opposite of what we were looking at previously with alignment and anchors, where the controls change size in response to the parent. This time it's the controls that have the power and the parent's size changes to suit. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Although this was a short guide, I hope you'll take something useful away from it. Until next time, goodbye.